What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Gene Forge 1 Mutagen. We left off after just kind of finishing up the tutorial the last time, so there wasn't too much to happen in episode 1. Um, I did get some tips from people on some things that I may have missed, and... Um, yeah, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate the help. This is a uh, very complex game. And there's a lot to miss. So I do appreciate the help. I appreciate the comments. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. I, I really enjoy the world that this game has created. So we're going to dive into it. If you are interested in the game, you can check it out. It is down in the description. As well as if you enjoy them, leave a like, subscribe. It helps a ton. It helps more people see these games that I bring. Um, and I do appreciate it very, very much. Okay. It just seems really loud. I know it gets really quiet though, so. All right. I gotta move the screen here. So I learned that apparently Though I thought I was hidden, I was not hidden. This person saw me stealing, but they gave, they, they didn't really give a fuck, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I also learned that the lightning bolt at the bottom is where my abilities are, so I can fire a bolt and I have heal as well. Um, let's see, was there anything else? Yeah, thorns, each thorn is a clip of six. Yeah, so no, I appreciate the, I appreciate also that those that did leave some tips were very good not to spoil anything. So like, I really do appreciate that. I appreciate like, hey, I noticed you overlooked this and I'm not trying to spoil anything, but this is something that you didn't quite see. And so yeah, I, I do appreciate that. Apparently when I was, uh, when I was taking stuff here, it would tell you if somebody sees you or not. And they pretty much said like, few people that commented pretty much went, if you can see them or they can even see your raptor, they'll see you steal. So, yeah. Um, Quest-wise, where were we? Um, Ham, a merchant of Vakiri, has an old shaper chest that he can't get into. That's right. We don't have enough to do that. Um, search the ruin school. You learned Pinner or learned Pinner in Vakiri asked you to speak to the servant mind in the ruin school. Perhaps you can get some clues regarding why this island was abandoned. Uh, the ruin school is north of Vakiri and is probably infested by dangerous rogues. So that's that's where we're gonna go. Ooh. over here was the box that I can't open yet. Keep watching. So they they saw me. <laughs> now I feel like there was something more I was supposed to ask the the dude in here that I just didn't. What's this? Awakened wishes. We of the awakened have fair requests. When the shapers return, they will be presented in the spirit of openness and good wishes. Any creation with the presence to say, I am a thinking free being must become one. A free thinking creation will be bound by the same laws as a common and be punished for crimes in the same way. A free thinking creation will be able to sell goods and labor freely and be bound by the same laws as a common. A free thinking creation capable of magic can apply to learn this power according to the same laws as a common. Um, let me see. There was something apparently I missed with creations as well to make your creations plus. Like, let me. There was someone that had made a comment too about like I I did something wrong with my creations and I don't remember what it was. Um. Oh, I can name my creations. That's nice. Yeah. All right. So like I could I could look at Fiora. Can I rename it? Oh, I can. Okay. 
Absorb creation will instantly destroy the creation. Okay. Its health is really low. Is there a way to... There was a way to heal. What was it? The healing pod heals me, right? Help only you. That's right. And the other one, the healing spores. How do I use? Can't equip. Drop on your portrait to equip it. Otherwise, put it on your pack or on the ground. How do I use it, though? Can I put it down there? I can. Okay. So if I hit F5, you don't have any usable items of this type in your pack. Really? Because... Alright, whatever. Leader Kobar continues to watch you carefully, attempting to divine your true intentions. It would be a pleasure to speak with you further, Shaper. The sword at his side still quite distracting. Tell me about the curry. I need to learn about the tribes of Susha Island. What dangers do you face in your village? Hunger, cold, rogue creations, all of the many perils you shapers abandon us to. He pauses for a moment, thinking. Then he says, But you know something? We serviles are not as foolish as you think. We can plan and we can trade. I can't help but notice what you are lacking that you are lacking supplies. If you would use some of your awesome shaper power to aid us instead of crush us, I could provide you with useful goods. A fair trade, does that appeal to you? Yes. It is an easy task. The main road to the east passes by Witch Hill. It is north of the fortress of Elara, leader of the Awakened. And recently, almost overnight, Watch Hill has become infested with rogues. We suspect that something or someone is creating them. There are too many there to be accounted for by random migration. We suspect Old Shaper Magic has been reawakened. Go there and remove the source and we will pay you. Why do you say it's an easy task? He's confused. You are a shaper. They are creations. How can they stand against you? His faith is touching, but he overestimates what you can do against a large, fully rogue creation. What sort of rogues? We have seen Thads and Fioras. Minor creations, but very dangerous to us. They all seem new, young, and fresh, free of scars. It is very strange. Most rogues on Susha are old, battered creatures. Why can't you kill them? You did not make most servals to fight. Our strain was created to far our strain was created to farm and to carry. We don't have the strength to easily defeat your other creations. Um He's told me about the tribes. I've asked about Vakiri. What about four? I would like to help you, Shaper. We are a trading people, and we require your help as well. You can assist us sometime. You should speak with me of the dangers we face. Okay. I do not know who would attack a Shaper in such an open and foolish way. Only the mad attract the wrath of the Shapers. In this, I wish I could help you. Such provocations can't be good for anyone. Not even the wild serviles of Kuzg could do such a thing. You will not find the answer to this mystery here. That is all for now. Thank you. All right. Well, where is the east? Let's go. Let's go to the east first. Let's go. Let's help them first. Actually, let's check out these. There's so much I want to check out around here. Okay, I haven't even checked out this. Do you have anything good in here? Copper discs, a cloak, and a robe. Healing pod, robe, and robe. Those are all the same, too. What do we have up here? Dreet. The servile is a large and round uh, is large and round under her robe, far more than you have ever seen. Unusual. When she sees you, she grins, showing a mouthful of healthy teeth. When she bounds to you, you notice that she wears gold rings and a jeweled necklace. Clearly, some serviles are wealthier than others. Welcome, Shaper, she says. I am Dreet of Vikiri, recently of Pentil. 
You are from Pentil? Up until recently, then I came here. I wish to join the Awakened. I was tired of the serviles of Pentil and their obeyer gibberish. We were originally made to serve, yes, but that time has passed. We obey mindlessly no longer. Tell me about the obeyers. They believe that shapers are their true masters and that to be happy they must follow and obey you in all things. I came here to claim fealty to the awakened. We believe that we must rise and face you shapers as equals. We know that there is risk in this path, but we also know that what it is, it is what we must do. You belong to the awakened now? Yes. If you wish to learn more of the Awakened, find Seneca. Seneca. She works in the main barracks. She can teach you. You do not wish to serve, then why do you be called a servile? That was a difficult decision. It was the name you gave us. We did not know whether we should keep it. Finally, we chose to. It reminds of us, us of who we were, or of who we are and where we came from. But we on this isle, we will not be servants again. Um, are you wealthy? What is wealth? None of us serviles are truly wealthy. All we have is what we can scavenge and what we grow, but in the sense that I have more goods to trade for things I want, I suppose I am wealthy. What sort of things do you own? She points at the door to the west wall. Well, there is an artifact back there that we serviles can't use. It would kill us, but I suspect that it would be useful to you. For 200 coin, I would unlock the door for you. I would like you to unlock the door. An artifact? What does it do? <laughs> Mysteries of the Shapers. Dreet takes your money and counts it carefully. She walks over to the door and presses a concealed button. The door will open for you now. Enjoy. Thank you. <gasps> oh, good Dreet. Good Dreet. War Blessing blesses all nearby allies, helping them hit more often in battle and do more damage. Each extra point of the skill increases the effect. Oh, she's so nice. Is there anything on here that I want? Nothing that I can think of. All right. Well, that was definitely worth coming in there. Thirteen living tools, twelve living tools. Woo! All right, let's go to the, let's go to the east, so we can do the, uh, the, the task at hand. What, what's down here? I'm no longer going to the east. I'm now exploring over here. Get back here, you! Get off of me! There's a small servile girl, girl here standing in the meeting place for the serviles. She has a stick in her hand and she is watching over a few fat orcs. She watches you curiously as you approach. She has no idea who or what you are. She says, "Hello, stranger. I am Leeds. Are you watching these orcs?" Yes, they keep me back here so that I don't play too close to where the monsters are, and they make me watch the orcs so I don't get bored. Aren't the orcs dangerous? She whacks one with her stick. It makes an annoyed, mooing noise and shuffles away. Not to me. What are the orcs for? Food, silly. What else will, would they be for? They aren't proper smart people like serviles. I have another question. Do you know what I am? She frowns. Hmm. I don't know. But I haven't had much learning yet. I'm sorry. I'm a shaper. My people made your people. This is very confusing to her. She clearly doesn't understand what you mean, but she wants to be polite. Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> Shapers see and know everything. She suddenly looks extremely nervous. That's really, um, interesting. Something is worrying her. All right, goodbye. Bye. She starts poking the orc with the stick and it ignores her. Not an awkward conversation in the slightest. I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to heal this my 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 dude. Five and three, that's five and three. Formulated mildly enchanted shaper made sports. Using this powder has a beneficial effect on you and all your nearby creations. If you only want to help yourself, use pods, not spores. Can't equip this item. But can I use it? That's the I can't seem to use it on him. Hmm. 
Sure, let's go to Watch Hill. You enter the woods east of Vakuri. They used to be more heavily settled by shapers, and then the serviles, then the land was gradually abandoned and overgrown. Rogues have moved into the abandoned lands, inching closer and closer to Vakuri. There was a road going through these woods. At least one servile settlement must have survived out there. Oh shit. We got a thoddling. Mortally wounded, your power drained, you fall on the ground, one of the many threats of Susha Island has claimed you. Without you to intervene, the secrets and conspiracies on the island came to a head. Deadly forces pour out of this tiny island and your people are forced to fight a devastating, terrible war. None of this matters to you, of course, because you're dead. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. All right. No, it was up in here. Actually, was there anything learned that I need to go back? Because there was shit I did. I don't know if I, like, got everything out of there. Oh, I just got experience there, so. Talk to you. Villages, yep, okay. I have another question. Oh, I don't know if I ever learned about the other the other tribes. Um, of course, you need to survive and escape. We have an interest in you being here. The rogue creations have grown more dangerous in recent years. I choose to guide you in the hope that the benefit the servile's trapped here. When the shapers abandoned us, we servile's had to find our own way and beliefs. As the years passed, we split into three sects: the awakened, the obeyers, and the takers. Tell me about the obeyers. They are the ones who will wish to follow. They are the ones who worship your kind as gods. You will find them in Pentil to the east, as obedient and palp uh, pliable as you could possibly wish. We are not fond of them. I would like to contact them. You should. Pentil is to the northeast. Their leader is called Rydell. I'm sure they will give you a friendly welcome and all of the groveling you desire. I hope you can help them. They are weak-minded, but not evil. Tell me of the Takers. They are the Mad Ones of Kazk, the Takers of Free. They have been warped by the cruelty of their lives here. They were made by the Shapers, and now they wish to overthrow them. They wish to separate from the Shapers completely, and if the Shapers attempt to deal with them, they wish to die fighting. They are mad. We have no worship for the Shapers, but we do not hate them either. We wish to be equal, that is all. You will have to be careful. If you don't show them respect, they will probably attack you. They are a little mad. Kazg is a long journey to the east. Their leader is Gnoro. She might speak with you. I think she knows more about the north half of the island than we do. And tell me of the Awakened. All in this village are of the Awakened sect, we have been awakened from the dark sleep of Shaper Mastery. Our eyes are open. We wish to deal with the Shapers as equals, with friendship and gratitude. But we will not be slaves to you any longer. Be wary. If you anger the Awakened, this town will no longer be open to you. I'm amused by your aspirations, but I doubt we Shapers will be supportive. This is a strange new belief, but I hear some wisdom in it. I like that one. I'm going to befriend these guys. I, I like them. You know, you... How, how pissed would you be? Like, you're, you... You were created to serve this creature. This creature abandons you for hundreds of years, right? You have to create your own society. You have to live. You have to find a way to survive. And then the day, like, some dude comes back and, like, could you imagine if that person came back? You've never met him before. You've been generations. You've been living your own life. And all of a sudden someone's like, oh, no, 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 no. You're going to bow to me. <laughs> I'd be like, no, fuck you. <laughs> He looks despite himself, relieved. I'm glad to hear it. When you arrived, we expected you to fight us. Yet, if we can convince you, there may be hope for peace. I have another question. What dangers? Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I have another question. Four, yes. That's all for now. Okay.
Where am I? Where's my... There. I'm almost dead myself. Oh, good lord. I didn't notice that the first time I went out. To clear this quick, use button, right click, or control click. I don't want to do that though. What is this? F5? We'll talk to her real quick. Do we have anything interesting over here? Guard. What's that say? the village okay we're gonna head east does record does it save I'm gonna save anyways Alright, we're gonna have to fight up here. Did it just eat me or did it eat him? I'm confused. Ah, that's how we heal. I gotta use A. Is it attacking me? I'm truly convinced it is. Yeah, it was F to go to peace. Okay. Right, at least I figured out how to heal now. Uh, that doesn't look good. You're at the entrance of Watchill, an old shaper watch post. It is a burrow under a large hill. From the top, guardians and agents kept watch over the surrounding lands, looking for rogues and other sources of trouble. The guards lived in the warrens under the hill. It is a common arrangement. However, these caverns have been taken over by savage rogues. Their growls and grunts echo through the tunnels. Okay. So the Freud, the does not have any things. whatever the, the fiora um we are going to catch the fireball fuck they can move a long ways <laughs> I 
do wish I could zoom in a little bit. I know it's an older game and that just wasn't an option back then, and I get it. But I wish I could zoom in just a bit. Oh, you like caused fear or something on him. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going well. Enemy keeps stopping me as I try to run away. <sighs> Got him. Okay. I have no way of healing you right now. I'm sorry. Fucking hell. It's attacking me. That is what is happening. I wish it was like a combat log so I could, I could figure out what's happening. Um, heal you. Right, heal me too. Okay. F. Inside we go. The word watch out was carved into the old timbers a long time ago. It is now barely legible. Oh man, this is this is smart or incredibly stupid. I'm not sure yet. I know it's what I need to do, but I'm not sure if I'm like strong enough yet for this. How do I do that? Oh, okay, so W is the default attack. Oh crap, a lot of you just all of a sudden showed up. So, missile weapon. Thorn doesn't do as much damage as I hoped it would! <laughs> Oh, crap. And I missed. And I missed. All right, one down. Buddy, you're in a world of hurt right now. Okay. All right, so we're all okay. What do we have in here? Trash. That's it. That's all we got. All right. Ooh, take some thorns. I don't need any other trash here. Oh, we got a we got a up the container up here. I only have one living tool, so I can't get that open. Oh, that, never mind. I have two living tools. Shackles, I'm not going to deal with. But we're going to grab this. This uh, canister can shape you and improve this ability. Create Thod. Enables you to create a Thod or an, a volatile Thod if you battle shaping is high enough. Each extra point of the skill increases the level of these creations. Hell yes. So can I make... You don't have enough essence to make a new creation. You need at least six. Where's my essence? So if I look at my character here, I'm at two out of 24. Is there anything that increases my essence that I have in my inventory? No. Nope. Okay, well. Worth noting that 
once I have enough essence. And I'm not sure what brings it back. Essence used in Creations 10. Drag character to change roster order. That went good. Good job, Mr. Raptor. You know what, now that I think about it, your name is gonna be Chompy. I like it. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, they can move a long distance. Woo! <sighs> Can't move in combat round after you've been attacked, use an ability, or been stopped. Uh, okay. So that's what's going on there. Uh! Fuck. Guess who didn't save? Actually, we'll go. There was an auto save that did catch up a little earlier. Okay. Still alive. or the fire. No, I didn't want for you to be the one to attack. That does 11. I mean, that does a fair amount of damage. Oh shit, I didn't see that guy off to the left there. That definitely does some damage. direction. Hey, that worked out good. Did the baton break? Oh, no, it was, it was reloading. That was just a weird noise I had not heard before, and I wasn't sure what to make of that. Okay. Um, G, 
Right, living weapon, living tool. Uh, F. Let's go back here. Come on, guys. Crap, that guy's still alive! Okay, so if I don't use ma magic ends my turn, but if I use an item that, that you essentially get a free turn. Come on. Thank you. Can't remember. Was there anything in these thorns? Which I can utilize. Let's go get this thing. Oh, there's a like a big giant ass bird's nest. What do we have in here? Fork, trash, flint, and steel. I'll take it. I don't know what I would use it for right now, but that seems like something I might want. I'm gonna save, because I just gotta get used to doing that, and I did not save. I just clicked. There we go. Okay. What do we have in here? Looked like I saw some movement up above. It's up. Cloak, a rock. Pick. The shaping hole of this outpost is just ahead. It is not abandoned. It is infested. In the far end, there's a swirling pool of essence, but they have been corrupted, dark and viscous and reeking of vinegar. In front of the pool, a bizarre creation grows, rooted to the floor. It's a horrible, slimy beast. Roots extended from its base to the pool's quivering tubes stick out of, its t of the top as you watch. It starts to squeeze a small fiora out of one of them. If this horrible thing is a shaper creation you've never seen, it's like it's a mindless machine for making rogues. Wonderful! He sounds friendly, and I did not save right there. I just, I know I just saved, but I'm about to go fight this thing. Stop making fucking rogues. Oh God. The shit just happened. Curse, turns remaining to minus 15% chance to hit, penalty to damage. Oh boy. Um, I don't quite know how that happened. I guess, do I get a curse when I sometimes use my, my stuff? That must be it. I think shooting at me! <laughs> I didn't see it the first time. I was like, what attacked me? Oh, I made another creation. Ow. 
Ow. I, I don't like this situation I'm in. Stop it! <laughs> Run the fuck away. Run the fuck away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please run away. Oh my god. Please run away. Please run away. <laughs> I don't have the strength yet to deal with this. I need to level up more. <laughs> Let me get away. <laughs> Can you not be terrified anymore? Thank you. How did you miss? <laughs> still alive. It is still alive. I, I want to kill this thing. I don't want to get away. <laughs> oh my God, there's more enemies. This was a mistake. This is an absolute mistake and I regret it. I regret it. This dude is just running the fuck away. God, I hate that they can stop me. Nothing to do. I have no way of getting out of this. I'm going to die. This was a this was a mistake. Enemy stops you. I hate. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna die. I have no way to heal myself. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm really glad I saved when I did. <laughs> I'm not going to attack that thing. I'm not ready for that. Not ready at all. Let's let's go this way. Whoops, I meant Use my ranged weapon. Hey, that works. You know what? Attack him. Fine. It's fine. Guy's still alive. There. I gotta heal my raptor. That should be enough to kill it. That's too much. Okay. Ah, 
Shit. How much essence do I have? I have six. I could make another thought after this one. Damn it, he's afraid. Yeah. All right, what do we want to give you? You don't have enough free essence to further improve this guy. Oh, I don't, do I? All right, well, you can punch. At least gives me one more creature on my side. Is it F1 that saves? There was a quick save, wasn't there? Keyboard shortcuts. Um, Quick save, F3. Okay. Is there another one that does, like... Full save where I don't have to go in? No. I've not leveled up in this yet. Okay. Damn it. Yeah. Get up. Beat him. Beat him. Yes. All right, it's much nicer having three. So much nicer having three. Okay. Let's go check out what this is. Copper discs, healing pad. So that's going to take us into there. I'm not ready to go fight those guys yet. You dick! Where is my experience? Does it show anywhere? Yeah, okay. Okay. So I should be getting some essence back. I just don't know how. I really want to kind of head back and see if I can like buy some stuff. <laughs> Some better things than I currently have. Ah, oh, fuck. No! Gah! Okay. 
Is that like a love bite? What's going on here? <laughs> Why is it attack me? I... Com incredibly confused. Hold on. Endurance upgrade gives the creation one more level and one more point of endurance increases the amount of health you gain per level. Health is very important. Most deaths are caused by running out of it. Yeah, yeah it's... Um, let me see. Fast recovery, special abilities have no cooldown time. Oh, I've named you Chompy. Because for whatever reason, you really like to eat me. I'm not 100% certain why. Okay. the hell out of here right now head back into the curie and see if i can buy some supplies <laughs> yeah i'm ready to leave that read is it this person in here that sells stuff um, I could use supplies. Wait, you know how to make ponds? How? Oh, that's right. I have another question. I could use supplies. Okay. So. You have living tools, but... <laughs> of course. Of course, it doesn't work at all. Okay. Single powerful magical charge. One throw. This is all they have. So. Let's get a couple of those. Curing pod. Don't need to worry about that right now. Speed pod. This gourd contains specifically formulated, mildly enchanted shaper made goo. Eating it has some beneficial effect. Fortunately, it keeps for a long time. Pods help only you. Spores are for everyone else. Okay. Is that the only store or like person selling things? The servile woman is tending to the rows of pallets in this old hall. She looks up at you strangely. There is none of the expected awe and fear in her eyes. She looks at you as if it were merely another servile. It is very strange, she says. I am Seneca, Seneca of the Awakened. I hope you to I welcome you to our humble home, Shaper. Do all you servals live in this hall? No. All of the Kiri lives in your old buildings. Many of us live in these barracks, and others, those of rank and stature, live in the private homes. I chose to live here. I like to close. I like to be close to my fellow servals. You servals speak very well. Who taught you to speak like that? She is slightly offended by the question. Who taught us? We did. After the shapers left our isle, we still knew how they spoke. We started to speak that way ourselves. We know that shapers think very little of us. That is why I was awakened. Some of us, though, do not speak as well. They do not have aspirations. Who does not speak as well? Well, if you meet Clackett, do not give too much weight to what he says or how he speaks. He is well, he is one of us, but he is foolish and he speaks foolishness. Do not judge me worse because of him. Uh, you said that you are awakened. Tell me more. We are a sect of servals led by the mighty Elara. We believe that our that we servals must stand up for ourselves, be proud claim our intelligence and our birthright, and look to you shapers as our equals. We know that many shapers will not approve of this. We will accept the consequences of this. If you would like to learn more, you should speak with Elara. Tell me about Elara. 
He is our founder of the Awakened. He is our creator. He is old now. He was the first one to stand up and tell us that we should look to for look out for ourselves. Shapers have abandoned us, and that we've made a, and made us free. You should speak with him. He lives to the east in the fortress past Witchill. What is your job in Vakiri? Elara asked me to stay here and look after the servals here to guide them. They are of the Awakened, but sometimes they return to their weak, old Shaper-worshipping ways. Usually it is simple, but sometimes there are difficulties. Are you having difficulties now? She looks around to make sure nobody is eavesdropping. I suspect that there is a Taker spy in this village. The Takers are a dangerous rogue sect to the east. They want to foment rebellion against the Shapers, an ugly, pointless war. Sometimes they attempt to stir up trouble here. If you found the spy and brought him to my attention, the Awakened would thank you. That is all. Interesting. You meet one of the Vakiri guards. He's a servile wielding an old dented but very sharp sword. The guard bowed nervously. Greeting, Shaper. How may I assist you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to talk to you. Now, there is this one dude in here that I'm fairly certain he sells stuff to. So, we'll go there. And I also remembered now that I didn't come up here and get my... The special thing that I found. That I paid 200 coins for. And I don't think I have 200 coins now, do I? No, I have 197. So, that's not good. Two. I want to sell something. So, we're going to sell the crystal. The flint and steel, you don't need that, huh? The rock, you don't need that. How about the shield? You don't want that either. How about the sword? Mm. Actually, if I bump my melee skill up one more when I level up, I can use that. So I'm going to hold on to that. How about this tunic? You don't want that. Or the cloak. You don't want anything... Damn. I don't like this idea of them not wanting to give me certain... Or not certain things. <sighs> Venom thorns. Those could be nice. Chitin armor. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What did it say? I got attacked by an artillery in the tunnels. Oh, yeah. No. We know about that. Are you wealthy? What sort of things? I'd like you to unlock the door. Helping them hit more often in battle and do more damage. God, that would have been... I need that. Can't believe I forgot that. Actually, no. I, I totally... I totally get how I forgot that. <laughs> it's me, after all. Come on. Alright, so what do we have for essence? We have eight essence now? There is a quiet, nervous servile lurking back in the house. You terrify her. She says in a quavering voice, Hello, I am Strout. What do you do in this village? Now, why are you so nervous? You, you, you are a shaper. We are all afraid. We are afraid of how you will control us. Some show it less, but we are all afraid. She closes her mouth tightly. She didn't mean to say that much. We will need to control you. You are serviles. You are made to obey. I don't want to control you. You don't have to worry about that. We are glad to hear you say it, but we will believe it when we see it. What do you do in this village? I raise orcs. Okay. Trying to figure out where this uh this spy would be hanging out, right? Servile is working hard to grow small green vegetables, and the serviles are doing well considering the lack of human supervision. She bounds. Welcome to my humble plot of land, Shaper. Um, I'm looking for information. Is there anyone here who can help? You should talk to Leonard Pinner. Or Learned Pinner. Leonard. <laughs> she points to the northwest. She lives in the building back there in the woods. All right, what are you raising? Just simple vegetables. Not a creation, just ordinary food. All right. Well, let's head this back. 
back this way and attack again. The fight a little more because now I got the buff. There was nothing I could buy that would help my characters right now, but I'm so close to a level up. Yeah, I'm so close to a level up that if I could just get that, life will be a little easier. Book it. Otherwise, keep is to the south. Ah, shit. Missed. Oh, hello. There's a servile settlement out here, an island of peace in a sea of rogues. An old obelisk has been dragged here, sanded down, and carved with the words Elara's Keep. The keep itself is more of a burrow, descending into the hill of the south. The passage has been shored up with fresh logs. Servile guards are kept stationed to either side, armed and ready to fend off hungry intruders. I mean, sure. Let's let's go in. Let's. What's gonna happen? <laughs> it's red. So does that mean it's not gonna be a friendly? This is a friendly settlement. You are able to rest. How do I rest? You enter the keep of Elera. This is yet another shaper ruin, probably barracks for the island's soldiers. The serviles have done a good job of restoring it. The crumbling stone floors have been torn up and replaced with wood, and many of the shaper tapestries on the walls have been painstakingly restored. As you enter, you feel the eyes of many armed serviles on you. You are welcome here, but you doubt that they will tolerate any trouble. As you pass the guards, one of them says, Welcome, Shaper, to the home of the awakened Elera awaits. The guard points to the south. This is the most imposingly armed and armored of all the serviles you have met so far. He wears a heavy iron breastplate and a large blade hangs from his belt. When you approach, he sizes you up in astonishingly insolent, uh, sizes you up an astonishingly insolent gesture for a serval. With little nod of approval, he says, "I am Swan Awakened, Commander of the Keep. I train servals in the military arts." What sort of training do you provide? I teach servals the ways of war. I also know some tricks that might help you, Shaper. Though I am but a servile, I have learned much in my many years of fighting here. Can you teach me? I'm afraid not. I will only share my deadliest knowledge with my fellow Awakens. How do servals fight here? Desperately. And with a mix of our own weapons and shaper artifacts. Some use mundane weapons, swords or javelins. Some use the living weapons of the shapers, the batons that fire thorns. Some servals have learned to breed the batons and grow plants that produce thorns as fruit. A rare few use crystals and wands. They are shaper artifacts, powerful stones and staves which unleash powerful magic. These are hoarded and only used in great danger, as we can't make more. I don't feel it's right for Shaper creations to train themselves in warfare without our permission, that is. I'm impressed by your ingenuity in learning how to fight. I'm glad that you feel that way. Not all of your kind will be so tolerant. I have another question. Um, tell, you, tell me about the Wakened. I can, but I probably, but I will not. It is not my place, not with Elara nearby. Swan points to the south. I teach more about mere weaponry. He teaches freedom. What battles have you had to fight recently? Of late, our foes have been limitless. There have been 
the rogues coming out of Witch Watch Hill, the roamers in the thorny fens, and the worst of all, Warp the Vlish. Okay, Watch Hill is just north of the entrance. Yeah, we know that one. Uh, the thorny fens. They're east of here, just north of the water. It is a region between here and Pentil, full of roamers. They are particularly cunning. They stalk their prey, waiting until enough additional roamers show up. Then they pounce. Tell me about Warp. Warp is a Vlish. The Vlish are particularly intelligent creations used to communicate in uh, communication and reconnaissance. It lives in a ruin in Crag Valley. Warp is powerful, free of mind, mad, and hates us. It can charm my warriors and eat them while they stand there mindless. It can control Romer's servants with its mind, and it sends them to feed on us. We have tried to kill it many times. It always evades me. One day, I will make a mistake. It will steal my mind and devour me. Can you help me destroy Warp? Elera and I disagree on this. Disagree on this issue. He has an old shaper weapon which might help you destroy Warp, but you should have to be very convincing to ever get him to tell you about it. That's all for now. It's a large meeting hall, and the way you can come here for sermons and planning sessions. It's the cleanest hall in the keep. You've learned about Awakened Wishes. This entry is already in your codex. How do I find my codex? I don't remember. Awakened Wishes. We of the Awakened have fair requests. When the Shapers return, they will be presented in the spirit of openness and good wishes. Any creation with the presence to say, I am a thinking free being, must become one of free thinking. Okay, we've read that, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. It's a cool place. You meet Elra, leader of the Servals, revered by them for his wisdom. To your eyes, he's not exceptional. He is strong, sure, and armed with the sword, but he is no more imposing than any other Serval you met. He is neither old nor scarred, yet he is unusual. When he looks at you, he stares you straight in the eye. He shows no fear. He knows that Shapers could destroy his people in a minute if they wanted, and yet he refuses to grovel. Welcome, Shaper, to our home. I desire words with you. I am Vlad of the Shapers. Who are you? Or right, let's be a little nicer. As you speak, the Serval looks for hints of your intentions. Your friendly greeting relaxes him. I am Elara, founder of the Awakened. Since I heard of your arrival on our isle, I have eagerly awaited your visit. We have long feared the return of your kind. We Servals were forced to think for ourselves, and we look forward to sharing what we have learned. Why is this so important to you? Because there are three united settlements of Servals on Sushi Island. Not all of us are in inutile. Most of us are thoughtful creatures. All of us fear the Shapers. All will be trying to win your favor. Get your help. I want to tell you our ways to convince you that favoring us is just is the just path. Okay. Want to know more about the Awakened? I'm glad to hear it. The meaning of my entire life is to tell more of our sect and our beliefs. I'm glad that you have come to speak with me before supporting a different sect. I am sure you find that our views are the wisest on Sushis Island. What do the Awakened believe? Why do you think the... Uh... Why do you think of the... Uh, what do you think of the other sex? Why do you think of the other sex? The Shapers created us. You are our parents. However, while we will always be grateful to you, you should not be... We should not be your slaves. We wish to deal with you as intelligent beings and as equals. We believe in fair trade for goods and services. For anything we give you, we expect fair compensation. And for anything we take from you, we will pay. We believe that we and the Shapers can live together in peace and mutual support. Most of all, we want peace and dignity. This is foolishness. We created servos to serve us. We made you, so you owe us your worship. I, I'm just going to continue on with this. Like, well, well, that's cool. <laughs> You've done well for yourselves, but we shapers can't remake our entire society and beliefs for the sake of your little tribe. Surprisingly, your views make sense. I never realized before I came here that servos can support themselves. It is a lesson we learned at great cost, but learned it we did. Elora smiles. You were the first shaper most of us have ever met. We can convince you gives me real hope for the future. I have another question. 
There is much that we'd like to learn about this island. So do we all. Susha Island is full of mysteries. What interests you? Um, why did the Shapers abandon Susha Island? We know that it was cruel abandoning us the way you did, but we do not know what caused it. Speak with Learned Pinner and Vakari. She may be able to help you. Okay, I'm looking for a boat. I have found many strange canisters on the island. They make me stronger. Elora looks at you carefully. He seems worried by what he sees. I can see you need the strength they give you. It must be necessary to survive the dangers here. However, they are changing you in a way I do not understand. It frightens us. You look cold and strange, and you glow in a soft, strange way. Use them if you must, but be careful. Do you have any canisters I can use? Elora sighs. If you wish to take the risk, who am I to judge? I think there was one in the ruins we have not reclaimed. He points to the southeast. I saw it some years ago. It had a label for poison and other afflictions. We have not been back there in some time. Some rogues infiltrated those tunnels. Another question. Um, what do you think of the other sects on the island? In Pentel, you will find the Obeyers. They worship you as if you were gods. For them, you have the name Servile truly fits. Farther east to the takers of, of free, they hate shapers. They long to die in a feudal war against you. If you visit them, tread very carefully. They are dangerous. I wish to join the Awakened. I will support your fight for dignity. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Your words and deeds make us feel that you might truly support us. Now, if you perform a bold deed to aid servile independence, we will freely choose to ally with you. How can I help you? What sort of deed do you want? North of here, west of Crag Valley, is another Shaper ruin. This one is worse shaped than most. It is full of rogue roamers and an intelligent and evil vlish called Warp. It ambushes have, its ambushes have slain many serviles. Warp is controlled by an old but still living servant mind called Con Control 4. It hates intelligent serviles. It wants to destroy us. If you can destroy it, we will be much safer. Do this thing and we will gladly make you one of us. Why does the servant mind hate you? An intelligent evil vlish? Vlish are intelligent. You made them so. When you are around to control them, they stay obedient. When you leave, they go mad. We have had to kill many of them at great cost. Warp is more vicious and cunning than others. It has killed many awakened. It took over their minds and strangled them as they stood dazed. Why does the servant might hate you? Because we are free, it is loyal to shape our beliefs. Um, I would like to speak with you about this region. You mean Vakari lands? Yes, the territory of the Awakened. We have been in much danger recently. What would you like to know? Mm. What other servals live in these lands? They're in Utile, of course. Not all servals are fit to live a civilized life in a sect. Some are peaceful, some become brigands. Are you being attacked by rogues? It is impossible to travel around here and not know the answer to that. There have always been rogues, but their numbers have grown over the last two years. Outside the fort, they seem to come from Watchill, not far from here. Perhaps you could investigate. Your shaper powers could get you where meager skills can't. Okay. Thirty living tools. Good lord. Leave the trapped box alone. That's asking for trouble. <laughs> It truly is. That's just asking for trouble. <laughs> the section of the keep has not been restored by the Awakened. The original stone floors are still here, slowly crumbling. At least the ceiling hasn't caved in yet. Oddly, the passages are icy cold. The thick frost on the floor indicates that no serviles have been back here for a while. Is this where I can find the thing? Chris the Cryo. 
There is a cryo huddled, huddled in this corner. It is trembling, even though these creations are immune to cold. It seems on the edge of going fully rogue. There is a carved wooden name tag hanging from its neck. It says Chris. The serviles must have tried to train it, and it ran away. It is holding something in one of its claws. It is small, and it glitters. Hello there. Chris hisses at you. The sound is angry at first, and then it trails off. Let me have what you are holding. The cryo senses your meaning, but it doesn't want to give up its treasure. It hisses with irritation. You are going rogue. Probably safest to destroy you. Chris, you need to go to your master. It stares at you, confused. You aren't able to get it to understand your meaning. Probably safest to destroy you. Chris senses your meaning. It lets out a loud hiss. Partly rebellious, partly terrified. You know that the shapers back home would do what they would do to this poor, confused creature. You follow the rules. This thing's fucking strong. I might have made a mistake here. Spray crystal. This crystal contains a single powerful magical charge. When thrown at an enemy, it will turn into a dangerous and damaging bolt of energy. Cool. All these living tools I need. Like, these things are just chilling in here. Nobody seems to have noticed. This passage is caved in. The servos have not yet gotten around to excavating the tunnel. You're all just kind of happy that these things are here? What are these? I have no idea what the fuck those are. This passage to the south is icy cold. There are many sets of servile tracks in the frost on the floor. A sign on the wall says, Awakened Only. The sign says, Awakened Only. Wonder why. What is here? The guard is very sleepy, but he's not lazy enough to miss you. He looks like he was just napping. Halt! You're not supposed to be back here. Prove you can be back here or go away. All right, I'll leave right away. I'm not going to piss you off. I'm, I'm not going to. Knowing my luck, I would try to lie and something bad would happen. So I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, <gasps> 
Ooh, I see, I see a thing that I want. <laughs> I need to heal. Damn, I just did a lot of damage to that guy. Cure Affliction. This is the duration of all afflictions, curses, acid, charms on this character. Each extra point in the skill increases. Awesome. What do we have in here? Essence Pod. This gourd contains specially formulated, mildly enchanted shaper made goo. Eating it has some beneficial effect. Fortunately, it keeps you for a long time, pods. So what does it do? Um, restores 26 essence. But I can't get any more essence than I can have, so we'll just hold on to it. There's nothing on the ground there. I do... Ooh, I could stand to... to have more essence at the moment. Uh-oh! <laughs> All right, well, we're at about an hour and a half on this almost, so we're going to wrap up this episode. We got into Go Meet Alara and got to see a little bit into Witch Hill. I, I, think, I think I'll be able to take Witch Hill in the next episode and we'll be able to... Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to level up and then be able to go in there, beat that thing, and be able to fight back the rogues that are just infinitely spawning there. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, it seems to be it seems to be that everybody is enjoying it, so thank you for coming and watching it. I do appreciate it. Um, let me know. Episode length is really tough with this one because like, if I do a half hour, it's just not enough, but an hour uh, seems about right. Like I said, we're about a, almost an hour and a half. Um, hour and 20, roughly. Either way, I, I, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game. If you like it, it's down below in the description, as well as check out my website, indie-gems.com, and check out social media, Patreon, all that, if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you, and have a good one.